I remember I had put in a request for vacation for a job before and they told me no. Child, I quit that job so fast. <laughs> Are you tired of having to ask permission to take a vacation? Are you tired of being limited? Are you tired of all of your money going towards your bills? If so, keep on watching. <laughs> Welcome fam, it's mom, AKA Relly. I'm back again with more adult talk. And so today we're talking about why you should and how you can build your own business. I'm not gonna waste much time because I don't like when people ramble on these things. So let's get into it. If this is your first time here, hello and welcome to the family. And if you're returning, thank you so much for coming back. This is a very important topic and I feel so passionately about this, especially when it comes to black people. And I'm not trying to make it a thing of race, but we all know that we don't own as much as a lot of other races. And so we need to kind of step it up. For me personally, I am not a good employee. Like I like to come and go as I please. As you guys can see, if you guys go back and watch our videos, like we travel, we do a lot of fun things. Uh, we up and we just move randomly. And it's hard to do things like that with a job. I'm not saying that you can't do it at all, but it's hard, you need permission, right? And I'm just not the type for that. This is in no way at all a get rich quick scheme. It takes patience, it takes resilience, it takes self-discipline, and it takes strength. What are you eating? It takes a lot of self-discipline because when you're your own boss, you don't have anybody breathing down your back, so you gotta make sure that you're writing your stuff down, you gotta make sure that you're doing what you say you're gonna do. You have to put the work in, it takes work. My newest business venture is Crystals and Herbs. It's aromatherapy skincare. I just wanted to show you guys really quickly the type of things that we sell. Rose aloe face scrub, a body scrub, and body butter. Every single one of my products smell delightful. When your senses are triggered in a good way, it enhances your mood and that's exactly why it's called aromatherapy. I'll place more details in the description box so you guys can check it out. My man's hair. <laughs> the how to, how to build your business. First thing that you wanna do, you wanna figure out the business that you wanna start. What type of skills do you have? What are you interested in? What are you really good at? You know, sometimes we get compliments from people and it's like, oh my God, you're so good at this. And you would never think to capitalize off of it. You should, all right? Like that's the smartest thing that you could possibly do. Capitalize off of your talent. Sit down and jot down your ideas. That's the most important thing. It speeds up your process so much when you're able to write things down. And it also sends that signal to the universe. Hey universe, I'm ready. This is what I want because you're writing it down and you're now making it concrete. So don't keep talking about it to everybody. Don't keep thinking about it. I mean, think about it, of course, but don't only think about it, but you want to write it down. After you write down exactly what it is that your plans are and you know exactly where you want to start, I would say to go online and create an LLC. There are definitely more benefits to having an LLC or a corporation. You wanna double check with the state that you live in, but it does not cost more than $200 to file your paperwork to get your LLC up and running. You figure out the business you want, you write it down, you got your paperwork going so that now you know that it's an established business. Now, before you file your paperwork, you wanna do your research on names. What do you wanna call your business? Once you figure that out, you gotta make sure that that name is not taken because you do not want a lawsuit and people will sue you. So make sure that you take care of that. Do your research, find out if the name is taken. Laws will vary by state. So I'm just giving you general tips, state or country, okay? Once you file your paperwork and your business is legitimate, a legitimate business, congratulations, now you move on to the next step. The next step is opening a bank account because you want all of the money going in and out to be documented. You want a paper trail of every dollar your business is making. Why? You know why. You guessed it, for tax purposes. Regardless of whether it's an LLC, corporation, sole proprietorship, what you will need to file business taxes is an EIN number. That's employee identification number. With that number, you'll be able to file your taxes. You're gonna use that number for your payroll. That number is needed in order for you to go to the bank and open up your bank account. You need that, that's a must have. And it's free. It's completely free to file your documentation in order to get your EIN number. So that's a good thing, save some money. After you got your bank account number up and running, you're ready to open your business. Like you're ready to start 
selling and making money. Don't get me wrong, it's not all that easy. It's not an easy process, but like I said, stay persistent, stay consistent, and stay disciplined, and you will prevail. Your business will succeed. As long as you believe that it's gonna succeed and you put the work in for it to succeed, it will succeed. I wanna stop here and just remind you, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the like button, make sure that you hit that bell. Guys, we're bringing you knowledge, we're bringing you fun, we're bringing you experiences, make sure you join the family, all right? Now, going back to the main point, depending on what your business is, you wanna look into a website, right? Regardless, it, it doesn't, whether you have a physical location or you have an online digital business, make sure you have a website. It's very professional. You know why? Because people want to go and see what you're about. Your website is going to tell all of your potential clients, all of your leads, exactly what your business is about, what you're about. And you want that website to be clear, cut, and dry. You don't want the website to be confusing. You don't want it to be mumbo jumbo. You want those people to go to your website and be interested and stay there and, and want to do business with you. That's what you want. The whole process of starting a business is not that challenging. It's the process of actually running that business and getting it to where you want to be. That's the challenging part because so many people give up so fast. But think about it like this, right? You've been putting in work for your employer for years or months. What's stopping you from putting that same work in for yourself? Nothing. Put the work in for yourself and your business is going to succeed. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's going to succeed, all right? This is the thing about starting a business. It does not matter how old you are. If you are a teenager, you can start a business. If you are a child, you can start a business. Now, you will need your parents' consent, obviously, and you will need them to do your paperwork for you, but guess what? You can do it. Maji actually owns his own business. Maji owns his own lemonade stand business. He's the quench king. That's the name of his business. It's You're never too young or too old to start your business, okay? In the workforce, you have to be like 14 or 15, or, depending on where you live at, in order to work. But guess what? You can start a business at 10 years old. Like, it does not matter. Why should you start a business? Uh, Why not? I am not at all knocking anyone who has a job. I've had jobs, okay? There's so many things that you can do with the business that you cannot do with the job. For one, pass it down. You cannot pass the job down generation to generation, okay? Like you cannot build generational wealth with a job. And ladies and gentlemen, if you made it to the end of the video, I'd like to thank you for watching. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know whenever we post new content. And family side out. Did you, can you get out my video? Bye. Why should you start a business? Uh, why? I'm messing around with it. Were you playing around in your phone? What do you want? It's up from here. It's up from here. It's up from here. It's up from here. Don't start going crazy now that the camera's on, Luxie. Luxury wants her five seconds of fame. Luxie wants to say hi to you guys. Say hi, Luxie.